Alright guys, we're going to do this without a tripod. Hopefully, this will be okay. So, this video is going to be my... It's going to be the books that I consider my favorites from September. Um, of everything I read, I did like. And... Like, I really liked them. But as far as favorites go... Originally, I had just this one. This one is about a girl who lost her brother, and she's able to see his ghost. And she didn't know if she was going crazy, and that's just the simplified version of that. But then she met someone else that could see him, too, and found out that he could see ghosts, and he helps them move on. I really did like this story. And that's all I'm going to say about it, because even though it's a little bit of an older book, in case somebody out there that wants to read it, I'm not going to go into too much detail, because to me, that right there is a spoiler. That's why when you, if anyone watches my videos, because it's like I said with my makeup videos, I do these just to have a visual and things, because I do write certain things down, like I write my TBR down and whatever, but I don't write my thoughts on anything. Because at the moment I read something and finish it, it's like, okay, I love it, I like it, I don't, whatever. But this gives me a way to have a visual and also hear thoughts. And if some people out there actually watch them, that's great. But I will give a disclaimer, I am not a YouTuber. I'm just an everyday makeup consumer. I'm an everyday book reader. I like to buy books. I like to read books. And if I happen to do this... And other people watch them, and it's a way for me to be able to talk to people about books or about makeup or whatever. That's great. But for me, when I buy books, I don't necessarily read the synopsis. I did it when I was younger. I haven't done that in a long time. So half the time, you'll hear me give the book title and the author. I know in one of my videos a couple weeks ago, I read the synopsis on some of them, and I thought about it afterwards, and I'm like, oh, crap. Why did I do that? But anyway, this is one of my favorites. And at first, this was going to be the only favorite. But you know what? I ended up deciding to put in yeah, Midnight by Dean Koontz on here. Dean Koontz, I liked him when I was younger. Like, early 20s, mid-20s, whatever. I think that's about when I got into him. And back then, he, looking back, I think he was one of my favorite authors. Excuse me, I had some Pepsi. Anyway, um, now, I think I would still consider him a favorite author, but I will say for me, I can't say this for everybody, but for me, I feel like his books start slow, and then they get, get good. I say get good, but I mean, you know, the whole book is good. It's just sometimes things that start slow is the reason I end up having more than one book open. But anyway, Midnight, this is so weird. It's like different perspectives and there's in this town um midnight cove moonlight cove some kind of crazy experiment and these people all right i don't know where i was but i was talking about this book and i had to stop the video to go into the door my husband come back from work he had to pick up something for work so anyway about this uh so what was the name of the town again Moonlight Cove. So, you end up finding out that you have this really rich guy. Apparently, this dude wants to be God or something because he did this experiment with people. And these people <sighs> turn out to be... They... They devolve, is what I'm going to say. He wanted them to evolve, but a lot of them devolve, and they digress or whatever, and it's hard to explain, but some of them, they just, they had to be put down, basically. They were killed, and then some would be able to plug into computers and stuff, and oh my God, it was horrible. Now, there was a lot of people that survived that, but the main characters, it was a little girl, an FBI agent, 
And this other girl, this other woman was in town because her sister was murdered and they covered it up by saying it was a suicide or whatever. So she ends up in town wanting to find out and get answers for her sister. And the FBI agent was there because a bunch of agents, they had went there to check on things. And I can't remember if those agents ended up being killed or if they made it out. Anyway, I can't remember. I read so much, it's hard to remember. But even, even me telling y'all that... I feel like it's a spoiler. Now, again, I don't know if anybody's going to watch these videos. I doubt it. But I also do them for me. I do it as a hobby. I've said that in my makeup videos. So I'm talking about these books. This one was just weird and creepy. Well, not creepy so much, even though it is a... It says horror. Oh, and also, shout out to my used bookstore, McKay's. This, this isn't in my city or county. It's, um in Guilford County. It's like 30, 45 minutes away from me. Let me call it 90 cents, 90 cents for a book. I've picked up some books for 10 cents. And this one was five ninety five, And that's still good. I love them. So shout out to McKay's in Greensboro. But, um, anyhow, I, it's like I said with this one, I don't go in reading the synopsis or anything like that. I like, if I see a title and an author that I, if it's an author I know, like Kim, I'll read. I'll check out different things by him because I knew him as an author. This one, I don't know this author. Or at least I didn't when I read this. But Invisible Ghost, that title sounded so awesome. Oh, and this one's classified as young adult. But to me, I would also put it under fantasy because the ghost factor. And this is horror. So anyway, yes, I liked pretty much everything I read. There was, there was a few that were iffy there, but I ended up liking them. But these, this one's definitely a favorite. And this one, it was good. So those are the only two that I could list as favorites for September. Um, I think I've already finished a couple of books for October. Um, you know what? We're not going to talk about that. But anyway, guys, if you've watched it, thank you. If you like book content, you like makeup content, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. I am not by any means a professional YouTuber. I don't, I don't do things like they do, obviously. This is not professional content, if you can't tell. The editing's not professional. The editing's, it's only like an itty bitty amount of editing. If you can call it that. So yeah, it's not perfect. It's not the greatest. But it's real and it's honest. So I'm sorry if the professionalism ain't there. But that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. This is going to go up on Friday. So I'll go ahead, even though for me it's only Monday. But y'all won't see this. If anybody sees it, it won't be seen until Friday. So have a great weekend. Bye.